Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here with .NET New Corporation. In this brief video, I'm going to talk to you about managing pages within .NET New. We're going to take a look at how we can manage pages using the control panel to create pages, and then using the control panel to manage the current page. And then we'll also take a look at the admin pages page, which will allow us then to view all pages on our site and rearrange the hierarchy of pages on a .NET Nuke website. So what we're going to do is switch over to a running .NET Nuke website. This is a clean install of .NET Nuke 5.6.0. It does have one test page that was created in a previous training video. You can check that out in the .NET Nuke training video library. So from here on the home page, we're currently logged in. Now I am logged in as a host account, but it doesn't really matter if I'm logged in as host or admin at this point. From the control panel, we can come in and create additional pages using the insert page option here. I'm just going to create a couple sample pages that we can utilize in the session here. I'm going to create one called page one. Now when you use the control panel to insert a page, you give it a name, you can choose a template, you can choose some of the hierarchy options, but you don't get to assign permissions to that page until after the page is created at which point you could go into the edit settings and then manage the permissions grid. I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of other pages now. Now I'm going to create a page called child1 and I'm going to go ahead and make that a child page of that page1 that we just created. I'm going to do the same with a page called child2. And what you can see is we're starting to now build out a hierarchy of pages within our navigation. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and make an additional page underneath of child one. And add that one. And if we were to mouse over the navigation, we would see that we have multiple levels of pages now within the hierarchy of our site. Now at this point all of these pages currently are only visible to administrators based on the permissions. But if we're on one of those pages we can come into the current page tab of the control panel and then from here we can actually move the page if we would like to. We can also change the skin that's being used on the page. We'll see how to change skins and how skins work in a future video here in the .NET Nuke video library. Now one thing to keep in mind is if you want to rename a page, by renaming a page, that actually changes the URL for the page. It changes everything in the navigation to point to that new URL. Now, if anyone else was ever linking to that previous URL, which in our case would have been grandchild1.aspx, if someone were to try to navigate to that page, you would then get a 404 message. So that's something to keep in mind. You don't want to rename existing pages on a production website. You typically, if you want to create a new page called grandchild2, and perhaps you want to transfer the content from grandchild1 to grandchild2, you could do so by moving the modules or even just copying the modules. And then you might remove Grandchild 1 from your navigation, but still keep the page around on the website. So within the control panel, we can go in and, and provide some of the basic functionality within our pages, but really where we're going to be able to get in and make changes to the hier hierarchy of our site is from the admin pages page. So if we navigate to the admin pages page, and you're obviously going to need to be at least an admin to do so. You can also do it with a host account like I'm doing here. On the admin pages page, you'll see a list of all the pages on your .NET Nuke website. You can see that that list is organized hierarchically. And we can see we have a home page, page called page one. Underneath of that, we have child one. You can see it's underneath it with the notation of three periods prior to the name. And then this grandchild2 page has six periods to note that it is underneath of child1. And then child2 is at the same level as child1. Then our test page, and then a couple of other pages, and then our admin menu. Now from here, we can select one of the pages in the list. We can view the page by clicking on the magnifying glass on the right. We can edit the page by clicking on the edit pencil. 
We can add a new page by clicking on the plus sign, or we can even delete a page by clicking on the red X. Now up above those settings, we can also move the page around. So if we don't want grandchild 2 to be under child 1, we can move the page. We can use the arrows over here. So if I use the orange arrow that points to the left, I can move it up one level, which will actually make it a child page of page one. And you'd find it in our navigation menu. Now if I want to move that to be a grandchild underneath child two, I can go ahead and hit the green arrow and move it back there underneath a child two. Now just like renaming a page, if you've moved pages around, you're changing the URLs, and it's possible that you're going to create some 404 errors for existing links to that page. So just keep that in mind when you're making changes to pages. Now from here we can also go in and view our page one again. Clicking on the magnifying glass. And at this point if we were ready to turn this page on and make it visible to anyone browsing our website, we could go in and edit the settings for the page by clicking on the edit icon in the top left corner of the control panel which will then take us to the interface for this page. And then within the permissions grid, we would want to check the view option for whichever role we want to give access to this page. So we can go ahead and update that page and its settings. This page is now visible to anyone browsing the website, though these child pages and sub navigation are not currently. So we can go to each of those pages and apply new permissions. Or from within the control panel, if we go to the current page tab, because we're on page one, we have an option now to copy the permissions to children. So if we go ahead and press that, that's going to copy the permissions that we've applied to this page one down to each of the child pages and their child pages. So if we go ahead and hit OK, that should have now applied the permissions to each of these pages. And the modules on these pages should no longer have a red box around them. Now, ultimately, to test this and to see those pages, what we would want to do is we would want to log out of the website and try to navigate to those pages without being logged in. So if I go ahead and log out as the host account, you can see page one and its child pages now show up in the navigation, and I can browse to any of those pages. Now, those pages are all empty at this point because they had an HTML module on them based on the default template but that module hasn't been edited yet and the HTML module if it doesn't have any content that's been changed removes itself from the page so you can see we can navigate to each of the pages but there's no content on them we can even navigate down to the grandchild page as well so if you're looking for more information about .NET Nuke I'd encourage you to check out the .NET Nuke training page found under the resources tab on .NET Nuke.com from there, you can get links to a variety of free videos, as well as our upcoming schedule of instructor-led training webinars. We also offer custom on-site and online training where you can find information there on the training page. Thanks again for watching the video. This is Chris Hammond with .NET New Corporation.